Hi, you guys. How are you? Uh, as I start, on to the next. Jay-Z, on to the next. Oh, oh. How are you? I'm tired, y'all. I have had such a feeling weekend. I had a client. And then I also had a Leo friend of mine reach out and just want to catch up and chop it up. So we kicked it and it was really good times. He cooked for me and you know, we just caught up. It was it was it was cool. We were able to have a very intellectual conversation about our lives and the journey that, you know, is us. And uh, he's a dope dude. I wish him the best in everything. Uh, I hope everybody else is having a wonderful, I don't even know what day of the week it is. That's crazy, right? What's today? A Tuesday. <laughs> so I was out on Monday. Had a couple drinks. I don't drink much. So, you know, we, we had margaritas. I had a little bit of sake and some delicious fish and vegetables. It was just refreshing to be in an environment of fellow like mind people that just get it, you know. And um, we picked up right where we left off. It, it was as if we hadn't lost touch. So, SP, I love you, buddy. Thank you so much. Let me uh, go ahead and put the camera down so you guys can see the cards come out. I'm okay. I'm just tired and recovering because, you know, when you don't really drink much and hang out and you start doing it again, your body has to reacclimate, right? I had a great time. I can't wait to do it again. My uh, consultation was absolutely phenomenal. Came out of nowhere, but it was very fulfilling, you know, for myself and the client. So thank you also. And um, my sponsors, thank you. Cash apps. Uh, comments, DMs, thank you. Um, I also had a weird experience. I was in Walmart, right? And a lady that watches me had let me know. <laughs> She's like, I am so scared to comment on your videos. And I'm so, you know, I don't want to uh, have people judging me or whatever. I let her know. You know, you can continue to call me like you do. She calls or she texts or you know, when we see each other, um, she does have a few crystals that she needs. And when she gets a list together, I'll acquire them for her. But, you know, I try to let her know, don't worry about what people are going to say or think. And I don't really care about the comments. You know, I appreciate it. If you want to comment, do so. But clearly, the people that are watching my videos are, are not really commenting. And it's new when you're new to this environment or this community, a lot of times you can rest on um, other people's perception right and you have to get out of that you have to don't care don't care who sees it don't care what they say don't care how it affects other people zero to a hundred great exactly you don't have to care because you know people see you growing and, and they may not like it so they are going to have something to say but if you stay in your right mind and you do what feels good to you let people speak what they want to speak love as long as it doesn't come to hands Words, yes, they do hurt, you know, just as bad as sticks and stones. That old saying isn't completely right for me because words do hurt and sometimes they linger longer. But it's only if you give energy to it, you know, don't become the energy source. People say things that you know are absolutely not true. Don't find yourself having to or trying to um, prove a point that you already know is true. Moving on, let's get the cards right. I just wanted to um, reach out to the people that have been reaching out to me and showing love and support. And I want to thank you and, sh and show my appreciation, gratitude, and honor because it is this journey. Woo! But it's so beautiful, right? The revelations along the way and you're in the dark and you don't know what's what or whatever. But, okay, cards. Here we go. Let's see. Uh-oh. -uh. So we're going to do this pile two more times. And we have, I don't know if you guys can see them. I'll put them right here. We have this one. Cut this in half because this one's pretty big. This one and this one. So one more time. Then I'll move to the next pile. So I do have, uh, I do have, 
do have um, a couple of other things I wanted to show you also. All right. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Your children are at school. I hope you're having time to yourself. Uh, even if you're at work, you're carving out a few moments here and there to do something for yourself or something that you like or finding a piece of enjoyment. Even if it's just on your lunch break where you go sit by a tree or, you know, you go outside and read a book or whatever it is. Um, hopefully, you're fitting your mental, physical, and emotional health into your day in some way. Let's see. hope this is not too loud on top of my hand I see that so I'll stick it right here we'll see okay. I love you all I do I do I do and there is nothing that you can do about it last time okay. and last pile I hope we are out here listening to the babies this Generation Alpha is something else. Um, while my son was spending time with his father, I got a call about um, John Hopkins. I believe it was the name of the school. And he's only eight, you guys. So if you put into your babies what you want to come out, or actually just fulfill them with, you know, whatever knowledge or teaching you may have, you have no idea where that may lead you so i don't know what's going on with it his dad's working with it right now and they'll let me know when he gets a little bit more information but that was definitely a surprising call that i got but I'm, I'm, you know i'm glad that uh, his intelligence is speaking loudly you know my son has been homeschooled from birth he's never set foot in a school outside of the time i tried to take him to enroll when he was four and he said a couple of things um teachers didn't like he said uh, Christopher Columbus didn't discover America just based on the teachings that he was getting and he said something about the first president not being black and they kind of pulled me in the office and uh, <laughs> wanted to talk but see for me it's truth so what can I say you know I can't teach him the truth and then you teach him a lie and then punish him for telling the truth so at that point with them not wanting to invest in his true growth which is learning how to read especially at four those kind of ideologies or stories haven't even come into the picture yet you're supposed to be teaching them how to read and spell colors and notice colors and you know uh working with other children those type of cognitive skills since that wasn't the forefront and his intelligence was more of the forefront i just made sure that i um took care of it myself and he's been doing absolutely wonderful right now he's in a homeschool program where he has uh, eight classes and he does those daily from ancient history to science to um, religion to just to learn the differences and you know all of the different kinds and and you know like i said you need to understand people's backgrounds so he does that he does um uh, English, of course, math, science, um, biology. This is eight now in um, ancient African history. So he's doing well. And probably another course that I'm forgetting, but I'm not right. Okay, first card, fox. Okay, so fox is an animal. I don't think this is a TV station because that was in the other cards. All of these are animals here. So just be advised, be aware. I did see a bunny. Um, a couple days ago, she went right past me. She was so cute. And bunnies are a sign of good luck and prosperity. But I did see one. I didn't see a fox. I don't think I might want to see foxes because they're usually wild. And, you know, they have to be familiar with you. Now, once you get familiar with the territory and you're an earth person like myself, you know, like birds love me and cats and dogs. And my son was having an issue with a dog the other day. And uh, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I am. He was having an issue when he was taking the trash out that these dogs in the neighbor's yard, they have a gate, but it was like three dogs. They were just barking nonstop at him, uh, nonstop, nonstop. So he came back in to get the next bag of trash. And he was like, mom, these dogs just won't stop barking. I don't know what's going on. It looks like it might be a little hole in the gate. You know, uh, just watch me go to the trash can, make sure everything's cool. So, okay. So I come outside, you know, I'm watching him go to the trash can. I'm not really getting into anything. And, um, He's walking and they start barking again. So I come down the steps 
and I stand like in this middle pathway and face the dogs and they all just look directly at me and quiet down. They don't say anything else while I'm out there. The whole time he's taking the trash and back, they're quiet, but they're looking like directly at me. He was like, what did you, I said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but they're, you know, I like animals and animals love me and the dogs seem, you know, nice enough. It just wasn't familiar with his energy probably, or it may have been too strong. I don't know. You know, dogs can pick up on senses we can't. But anyway, moving on, uh, let's see what's coming up now. I don't know. What is this? Pound cake. So a lot of Drake and Jay-Z today. I probably should have put on just a regular playlist. But I just hit play with what was um, already just kind of playing in the house. So, yeah, I know how that goes sometimes. All right, next card is, ooh, favorite people. Archangel Heniel. Glory of God. Okay, her energy is graceful and soothing. She's associated with the planet Venus and the moon. She empowers spiritual practitioners to gain heightened intuition. She provides guidance to those who seek to develop their psychic abilities. So Archangel Haniel, I do receive and accept you. And if you're interested in heightening those things or working with the Archangels, this particular one, and this is what she can do for you. Or assist you with it anyway oh I forgot um it's a star my friend that I spent some time with yesterday and kicked it with and he gave me this ring isn't that cute you guys he made it himself too it's a star he told me how much I had helped him and you know I finally allowed him to see who he was and he realizes you know what was going on whatever it was just so um, releasing, I guess you would say. Love and light, King. Love and light. Call me anytime. We can kick it anytime. And I'm going to do some events out here. And he said he'll come and show his skills. And they are absolutely phenomenal. So that's going to be a treat. You know, it's just good to, to build bridges. Or not build them. Because they that bridge was never really broken. We kind of just stopped venturing across it. You understand? I used to, he stayed on his side, I stayed on my side, and it made sense because we had our own things going on, and you don't want that to, even if it's just a friendship, you don't want outside things to trickle in, and that was kind of what was happening. So now that I've cleaned up a lot of my mess, uh, you know, business, friend, and family-wise, and he's done the same, we're able to just, just focus on greater things in the babies. Okay, next is Tommy. Can you see that? That's a name. First, middle, last. Person, place, or thing. It could be a stranger. It could be somebody in your family. It could be um, somebody you have worked with, worked for. It could be a clothing line. It could be shoe. It could be anything. Um, however it relates. Next is toxic long distance truck driver. Okay. So something may have something to do with a toxic long distance truck driver. Next is, wow. <laughs> Mental conditions to understand. So maybe this toxic long distance truck driver may have a mental condition. I don't know. It's just how it's coming out. And, you know, you might want to look into it, especially if you maybe have a conversation and they let you know that's what's going on. If you want to be a helpmate to this person, you look into what they're suffering from. And if there's anything you can afford to help with, not financially, I'm speaking spiritually and pouring in, then do so. Um, but schizophrenia, PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, bipolar, sociopaths, psychopaths, multiple personality disorder, and obsessive compulsive disorders. That's not all of them, but those are like the main uh, mental conditions um, that people might want to understand that a lot of people are dealing with at this time. Next is nimble vocabulary just utilizing um different words that we don't usually use that probably mean things that we say all the time just just um elevating your vocabulary you know uh like i said when you get into different rooms you may want to be able to if not speak it definitely understand the conversations that are going on and you do that by um, widening your understanding of the words okay so number is quick clever and acute in devising or understanding quick light or agile in movement or action. So with that being said, I don't know why this is popping in my head, but it is, so I'm gonna go with it. 
nimble, toxic, long-distance truck driver. He's moving quick. He might have one of these. So just be advised, be aware. I don't know. I'm just saying how it's coming out to me. So, and his name could be Tommy. Um, and could be fast like a fox. I don't know. <laughs> Next is no, you can't. No, you cannot touch my hair, my love. No offense taken. Yeah, a lot of people that are non-melanated, some melanated too. It has happened. Um like to touch my hair or ask can they touch my hair and at first i didn't understand it i do now uh before it was kind of like sure why you know but then you feel the difference you feel the change you feel the exchange um so at this point no you know i, I do my own hair i don't get it twisted anywhere i do it myself i've done it from the very first time on myself i actually did it live on a podcast i was on years and years ago when I started it and I've done it myself since then, nobody's ever touched my hair. So, you know, some people are just funny about that. I don't know. Coming from a family of beauticians, yeah, a lot of them don't like their head being touched now that I think about it. So, moving on. Next is making money in your sleep. Making money in your sleep. <laughs> I did wake up the other day. Never mind. Yeah, making money in your sleep. Okay, next is Buddhism, Judaism, and Islam. Um, these were written on the card to show, this actually goes back to, what was I just talking about? Uh, I'm not sure, but I remember bringing it up. Um, oh, the word nimble. How I was saying that you want to be able to elevate your vocabulary so you can understand conversations in certain rooms, even if you don't want to add it to your personal vocabulary. When you understand the differences in multiple different religions, and I'm not saying deep dive and learn every single thing and all of that, just the basic respect, um, grandeur, um, gestures, excuse me, the respectful gestures required or, or expected when you're dealing with people from different backgrounds. So I put these here because um, more times than not, we do deal with a lot of people from these backgrounds and we have no idea that we do very disrespectful things that they see that we don't even pick up on. But those are three specific religions that you can definitely look into. You don't have to, but you can. Next is droidism or droids. Okay. <laughs> so droids believe that the soul was immortal and was passed on to another person at death. If you want more information on that, how that may play out in your life or your lineage, look it up. D-R-U-I-D-S, D-R-U-D-I-S-M. Next is Mesopotamia. Beautiful place. Okay, next is Otis. Jay-Z and Kanye. Okay, nice place to go. Put that in locations. Next is horseback riding is in your future. Oh, wow. I was just over there with the horses um, two days ago. I don't know though. You know, horseback riding, you can, you gotta be ready for that, right? If you, I, of course I've been on horse before when I was younger, but as an adult, you know, you gotta kinda, <laughs> you gotta, you know, you gotta control that, right? You can't let the horse control you because you could take off and be in a world of trouble. But um, I do the horseback riding, I try it. Or maybe have the one where the people walk the horse and you ride it first until I get the feel of it. I don't know. But it's in the future for you. So be advised, be aware. If you haven't ridden horses or you uh, are interested in riding horses, then be advised, be aware. It is definitely coming up for you. Next is, uh-oh, hater alert. They always knew you belonged with that earth angel. Extra, extra, read all about it. Yeah, haters around you. They knew. They knew, they knew, they knew, they knew, they knew. Manipulated the situation with money and, you know, women and men even. And, you know, how people create illusions. But, yeah, just know that they know. And then you make your decisions from that, you know. Because nobody can tell you what to do. Only you can tell yourself what to do. But you need the proper 
information to make the proper steps, right? So now that no more and more things. Charge. That's my speaker. Music might cut off, but that's okay. Now that you know uh, the more that things are coming out, that um, a lot of these people were aware that they were keeping you away from your destiny, how do you choose to move at this point? It's your decision. Next is make more, save even more to give back. Yeah. Too much is given, much is expected. You want to make more than enough to cover your expenses, uh, family members that you may be, your family, the family you've created. You want to cover all of your expenses. You want to have at least six months of expenses paid. I like to do it in advance to create a, a worry less environment. And then six months in the cut because you never know what could happen. You know, those are good ideas. But definitely, the more you make, you want to try to save it so you can help more people. Next is, what is this? No factory. Scrap charge. booking. Hold on, you guys. One second. Let me see. We'll see. It's plugged up. Maybe it's just got a short or something. I don't know. Anyway, next card was scrapbooking. I'm tired today. I want to just relax. So I have to get this video out and show you a couple of these surprises. I'm going to um, do some personal studying. I had a consultation. No battery. It's doing it again. Okay, so we're going to turn you off then. And we're just going to do this. Here we go. It's plugged up, so I don't know why it's saying that. Maybe it's the cord. Um, oh, no, I had a meeting myself with, um, I don't even know how to explain it. A very wise very versed, very um, knowledgeable source. And she advised me that based on my lineage and my history, that I should get into certain practices. So I bought a couple of things. I have had them charging for a couple of days, cleansed and charging. And I'm going to show you, but it is very intricate. You know, it's interesting to me and it's new. Um, oh yeah, that was a wonderful meeting too. Just elevation, boom, 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 all over. So anyway, scrapbooking, that's a hobby you can do, something that might put you at peace. Um, it also helps with calming the, the mind and the spirit. When you're into something you really, really love, like this, for example, your energy, it finds a balance, right? Because you're doing something you really, really love, um, like meditation or yoga or things like that. They actually allow you to reach a sense of balance, um, and you're not even really aware, well, you, you are if you know, but it's not really like a focus when I go into yoga and looking for balance. It just allows you through the process to come into a balanced place. So next is, what is this? Story of OJ? J. So this must be a J and Kanye playlist. I don't know. I'm not black. Wait a minute. What do you say? Rich. Still. He said, I'm not black, I'm OJ. What Jay Z say? Okay. <laughs> okay. Where OJ go? <laughs> he got off, but where did he eventually end up going still? Next is Raphael Sadiq. Let's see it. Let's see. All I ask, that's all I ask of you. I kiss you anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful song. Listen to that. Next is, oh, I'm going to start putting the, I'm going to have to go back though, because I wasn't doing it before. But a few people have asked me. I am also creating playlists too. I have um, one on my parent company, uh, YouTube, that I'm about to share, where I have probably about 10 lists. And, you know, they're all titled and depending on the feeling that you're in or the mode, they're songs specific to that. That's about to be published like tonight sometime or tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to do the playlist that comes out in the cards. I'll go back and uh, like hashtag them in the video or somewhere. I don't know how to do it. Haven't done that before, but being that people are asking, I'll figure it out. Okay, next is holistic healing. And it says... Holistic medicine is a form of healing that considers the whole person, body, 
mind, spirit, and emotion. So with holistic, you're not just looking to go in and fix the specific issue. Like, uh, you know, you may have cancer. So they might give you radiation or chemotherapy. Um, with holistic healing, we're going to see how you are mentally. We're going to see how you are emotionally. Are you drenched in depression, which is not good when you're sick because it lowers um, everything in the body. And when you're susceptible, it allows things to um, become familiar in the body and the body tricks the body into believing it should be there and you know, reproducing itself. So mind, body, spirit, and emotion are very important when you're interested in maintaining optimal health. Holistic healing. That's what I'm getting into. Well, that's what I'm into right now. I do a little bit of... Moving on. Next is don't pitch pearls to swine. Yeah. You don't have to go and um, give your story or information to people that don't really want it. You know, a lot of people that are spiritual or even religious, actually, um, they attempt to convert people or bring people over to what they believe. And you have to understand uh, it's a knowing for one. It's not necessarily a belief you should know. But um, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. I've said that multiple times on this channel. And it's very important If people want to understand your walk and want to know how you're doing, what you're doing. They will inquire in some way, shape, form or fashion. It is not your responsibility to push it on them. You know, so don't pitch pearls a swan. If you see that they aren't listening and they don't really care and it's not really of interest to them, then take 